yes students next we have another definition and the theorem based on the definition we have a definition called orthogonal orthogonal for the two functions if two functions is given phi 1 of x and phi 2 of x are continuous in in, in a <coughs> interval a comma b are said to be orthogonal on a comma b if phi 1 comma phi 2 is equal to integral a to b phi n of x into phi phi 2 of x is phi 2 of x dx equal to 0 so this is phi 2 of x okay so this is the definition according to definition uh, we have one theorem the theorem says in the form of like this if kernel k of x comma t is symmetric phi 1 phi m of x and phi n of x are fundamental functions of k of uh, x comma t kernel for lambda n lambda n and lambda m respectively such that lambda m and lambda n are not equal to 0 sorry not equal to n and lambda m and lambda n not equal to n then phi of m <coughs> and phi of n are orthogonal in on the interval a comma b interval on interval a comma b such that it is a to b phi m of x and phi n of x dx is nothing but equal to 0 now this we the, according to this definition we need to prove this so what we'll do we'll take two fundamental uh, functions that is let phi of m phi of n are the eigen functions corresponding to the eigen values lambda m and lambda n respectively uh, for the homogeneous federal integral equation homogeneous federal integral equation we know already phi of uh, phi of x equal to lambda into integral a to b k of x comma t phi of t dt and the kernel is k of x comma t which is symmetric means k of x comma t is nothing but equal to k of t comma x according to the definition the function phi m of x and phi n of x must be satisfying this integral means we will take phi m of x for lambda m in the same way phi n of x for lambda n like that two equations we got phi m of x <coughs> and uh, lambda m k of x comma t phi m of t dt and the same manner phi n of x lambda n k of x comma t phi n of t dt so for this we will multiply phi n for this we will multiply phi m okay so first we'll take uh, multiplying the equation to with the help of phi n we'll multiply phi n first for this equation now what you'll get integral a to b phi m of x phi n of x dx uh, and uh, uh, in uh, with respect to the x in the integrating with respect to x over the integral a comma b so integral a to b phi m of x phi n of x dx phi n of x integral a to b we have multiplied here so therefore lambda m a to b phi n of x and this everything the entire term I have taken here k of x comma t phi m of t dt and that dx so changing the order of the integration on rhs now uh, if we change the order of interaction on rhs of x we have so integral a to b phi m of x phi n of x dx equal to lambda n <coughs> integral a to b phi m of t we are taking the phi m of t outside and the phi m of x into k of x comma t dx this entire term is dt integral we have changed <coughs> the t terms we have taken outside and this k of kernel x, uh, k of x comma t and phi n of x dx we have taken inside like this we have chosen so interchanging x and t in the equation <coughs> 3 now here if you change uh, x and uh, t here now what is going to happen now in the place of x we will take t such that you will get phi n of t is equal to lambda n k of t comma x i have changed t and x here and such that you will get in the place of x in the place of t we have taken x so phi n of t lambda n k of x now this one t of x comma t comma x and phi n of x dx we know that t comma x is equal to k of x comma t so we have taken k of x comma t phi n of x dx k of x comma x comma t is symmetric because of that we have taken these two changes now substituting this phi n of t <coughs> that is nothing but equation phi this everything in the equation means this value we are going to take as phi n of t now what is this value here you can understand k of x comma t phi n of t phi n of x this entire value can be taken as some uh, phi n of t but lambda n is there lambda n will be taken to the denominator like this you know lambda n will be in the denominator this entire thing this entire value can be taken here so therefore integral phi m of x phi n of x dx is equal to lambda m and this lambda n will go to the denominator so lambda n phi m of t 
phi n of t dt. This phi m of n, phi n of t dt and the same thing we have written. This I have changed the variable that is nothing but x and the x. Now this is nothing but x and this is nothing but we will take the term to this side so that we can take common phi m of x, phi n of x dx. Phi m of x, phi n of x dx also we can take common. So 1 minus lambda m by lambda n. So you will be getting as lambda m minus lambda n and lambda n will go to the uh, lambda m and will go to that side will become 0. So therefore lambda n minus lambda n will be getting and the integral a to b phi m of x and the phi n of x dx equal to 0. Since these both are uh, not equal, so this may not be equal to 0 because lambda m is not equal to lambda n. So integral a to b phi m of x and phi n of x dx equal to 0. Thus we got as these are nothing but orthogonal under the interval a comma b. Okay, therefore, so what we got here is we have taken two functions phi 1 of x and phi 2 of x are nothing but continuous in the interval a comma b. If they are nothing but orthogonal means they have to follow, uh, they have to satisfy this uh, formula so that we can say that given two functions are nothing but orthogonal. So we have taken like this and uh, we have chosen phi m of x, phi n of x eigenfunctions with eigenvalue lambda n lambda n such that this should satisfy the fed home integral equation and we have taken phi m of x and phi n of x for phi m of x we have multiplied phi n of x and we have interchanged the uh, in integration and we have got this one and by taking this value by interchanging x as t by interchanging t as x we got in the form of like this with the help of the symmetric kernel this has changed into k of x comma t and the value of k of x comma t phi n of x integral a to b dx is nothing but phi n of t by lambda n. So lambda n have taken this down and uh, we got as this uh, we have changed the variable t such that we got as x here and the same thing we have taken to the left side so that we can get lambda m minus lambda n under, in, under the integral a to b phi m of x and phi n of x equal to 0. So, this may not be equal to 0, this is 0. So, thus we can say that two, integ uh, two uh, eigenfunctions are nothing but orthogonal on the interval a comma b. Thank you.